Have you ever wondered how the F-22 Raptor performs seemingly impossible maneuvers, even when stalled? That's the magic behind post-stall technology incorporated into the Raptor. The F-22 Raptor is the most agile aircraft ever built, and its capabilities are truly amazing. As the name suggests, post-stall technology is used by fighters, such as the F-22, to preserve maneuverability even when the wings are stalled. Fighters with the ability to perform post-stall maneuvers can go beyond the conventional limits of a usual fighter. When a wing stalls, the flow separation occurs and the conventional control surfaces like ailerons, elevators, and rudders become ineffective. Thus, the pilot can no longer maneuver the aircraft. But with the usage of post-stall technologies such as thrust vectoring and digital flight controls, Raptor can still preserve certain maneuverability so the aircraft responds to pilot inputs effectively. These post-stall maneuvers become life-saving during a dogfight as they help the Raptor pilots gain positional advantage over the enemy aircraft. With a post-stall maneuver, the fighter could turn and change speed and direction quickly. Thus, the pilot gets more nose-pointing authority, enhancing weapon deployment opportunities. The thrust vectoring of the F-22 Raptor is the cornerstone in post-stall maneuvers. The two-dimensional thrust vectoring nozzles of Pratt & Whitney F-119 engines can pivot 20 degrees up or down to vector thrust along the pitch axis. The aircraft enters a stall when it performs challenging maneuvers, such as Pugachev's Cobra and Herb's J-turn, that involve extremely high angles of attack. Hence, the aircraft should pitch down to regain control and continue flight. But this cannot be done with conventional flight controls as they are no longer responsive due to flow separation. This is where the thrust vectoring comes into play, and the engine nozzles are vectored in a way to pitch down the aircraft. The FADEC, or Full Authority Digital Engine Control, is integrated with the flight controls. Hence, it receives inputs from the flight control computers to vector thrust to assist flight controls. Thus, in the F-22 Raptor, thrust vectoring acts as an alternative set of flight controls. The pilots cannot make any direct input to vector thrust, but his flight control inputs are reflected on thrust vectoring due to the integration of flight controls with the FADEC. Additionally, the Raptor's higher thrust to weight ratio also significantly enhances its ability to execute post-stall maneuvers with precision and control. Both engines could deliver a maximum wet thrust of around 70,000 pounds, inheriting a higher thrust to weight ratio. When the thrust to weight ratio is greater than one, the fighter gets the ability to accelerate while flying almost vertical. This ability also bolsters the post-stall capability of the fighter. In summary, thrust vectoring, digital flight controls, and a higher thrust to weight ratio contribute to making the F-22 the most capable air superiority fighter in the U.S. Air Force. And that's a wrap for today's video. We hope you enjoyed this episode and there are more videos coming, so consider subscribing to The Intellect. See you next time.